this room because of the way it's spread out. So I'm going to see about moving to another room that's on the main drag. I mean, this would be a cool room if we had engineering and demonstrations enough, but as a lecture hall, I don't like it. Good afternoon or good morning. I'm Professor Arthur Migala. I'll be with you for the next 16 weeks in Calculus 2. This is the, cl the class where actually math really starts. It's not Mickey Mouse algebra, trigonometry, or even the easiest Calculus 1. Now we take everything we've learned previously and start using it to more applicable three-dimension rotations of objects and areas and volumes. So that's this is where it starts getting interesting. The course, let's go through the course here. And I apologize for the mix-up. I don't know why it was messing up. I got to change that too. But for some reason, I got to see how many of my students are registered for calculus through calculus one instead of calculus two for the remind. The remind is an app where we'll communicate it. The reason being because how far is your cell phone ever away from you? Never. I mean, at nighttime, you go to sleep, it's next to you. So the first thing you do when you wake up, you grab it. You go to the bathroom, it's in your hand or in your pocket. Hopefully it's in your pocket. Uh, only time is when you take a shower. Every uh, So when you're doing your work, and if you get stuck and you have a question, you'll send it to me on Remind, and it, take a picture of it, and then send it to me so I can see what we're talking about. And then it'll, I'll get it instantly. And if I'm not preoccupied doing something else, I'll respond to your message pretty much instantly. Because it goes to my phone, and I'm like, you guys, I have it with me because I communicate all the time with it. Emails, it only works if I'm logged on. And that's a pain because I need my I need my computer. And I go through the whole process of going into e, e campus or the Dallas College and all sort of stuff. So it's too much of a pain for me. And do not do not do not use the messenger that's on my math lab. Don't because that's even harder to get because I have to go to find out where the message is, scroll down all these things that the publisher send, and then find out where the message is. So do not send any message. Send it through Remind. And 24-7. How many of you all have jobs out after school? Yeah. And so, again, so that means you're busy after class, you're busy at work, and you won't get to do the homework until evening times or weekends. And that's not fair to you guys if I only said I will only respond to your messages during work hours. Because if you're doing work at 9 o'clock and you get stuck, and I can't answer your question until tomorrow, you can't do anything else. You're, I'm wasting your time. So if I'm awake and not doing, not preoccupied, I will respond to your questions with, within the hour as fast as I can. If we can't, we can't answer the question via texting, then we can meet online and we could use Zoom. And the link for that one is right here. If you ever want to use nerds, all my classes are live streamed, meaning that you can participate in class face to face, live from wherever you are at work, at home, the park, I don't care where. Online, you can just click this link and you're going to watch everything that we're doing. And you can communicate. If you have a question, you just ask a question over your computer's microphone. And you listen to me. Or if that doesn't work for you, then at the end of my class period, what I'll do is when I save the video, I'll make a copy of all the notes that I've taken during class, put them into PDF, and send them to you all. So you can watch it later on when you're when you have more time. So there's no way you can be absent from my class. Now, another thing, the reason I do this is because. How much time do people waste taking notes? A lot. Because think about it, especially if you're typing, it's even worse. In a math class, it's not going to work. It's not going to happen. Because this class will be mostly symbols and numbers and equations. So that's why in this class, all you'll have to do is you'll have paper and only take notes of the stuff that comes to your head. 
Anything that I say, anything I write down, I'll send you a copy of it, a PDF of it. So you don't have to write down everything I say, everything I do. Just write the stuff that's important to you and do the examples as I'm doing online uh, on the board. So that is the main reason I do that. And also, is if you can't make it to class, you'll also be able to see the material. So that's those are the important links. Important dates. The 19th is certification day. Certification is where you get your financial aid. If I don't certify you in this class, that means you can't get sort of you can't get financial aid for this class. In other words, what the, what constitutes a certification? Well, in my class, you have to send respond to the remind and the syllabus tests, as well as do the first homework problem or the first assignment. And so, what is the syllabus and remind test? Is read through the syllabus and send me a message on remind saying you understand. You read and understand the syllabus. Bam, you get two hundreds. That's all you have to do. Send me a message saying you've read and you understood the syllabus. And you have to do that before the 19th. Because the 19th, I have to submit this paperwork. The last day to, uh, the last day to, re, to withdraw from this class, uh, to post that, you're... The last day to withdraw from this class with without a grade or without anything is the 19th or 29th. For whatever reason. But again, I'm trying to make it as easy for you to stay and pass this course as I can. I'm giving you pretty much everything. And after that, you can withdraw with a with a W with in other words, if you're pat if you're withdrawing and you're failing, it'll be a WF. You're withdrawing and you're failing. Or if you're if you have a B average, there'll be a W with a B. But anything after the 29th, you'll have a grade with a W. And that affects your GPA. We'll have two progress reports here. And all those do is it's an indication to you to, to tell you that whether you're falling behind or not. In other words, if we're if we're talking about chapter three, section two during class and you haven't even started chapter one or you don't even chapter chapter two, you're falling behind and I will give you a, a U for unsatisfactory. Doesn't mean you're failing the course. And it's, I don't want to give a grade, but I'm saying this catch up. If you're where you're supposed to be, you'll get an S for satisfactory, keep on going. And you'll have two of those in, in the beginning third and the last third of the course. Working ahead is always advised. In this class, I will send you what we cover that day, the video and the notes. But I'll also have access, you'll also have, also have access. I'm going to upload all of the notes and videos and the solution notes and videos from my previous class. So that if you want to, if you want to move ahead and do stuff, you can watch those video lectures and do the work. And if you get stuck, you can watch the solution because on the solutions, what I did, I print out all the homework assignments and work them through step by step. I explained to you what's on there. It won't be exactly the same you got. It'll be a different question numbers, but it'll be the same topic. So if you get stuck and, you, and the notes don't help you, then look at the video, watch it through. If that doesn't help, then contact me. And if I can't answer it, then we'll meet on Zoom anywhere we are. And then what, what you're going to see when we're talking about Zoom is you'll see something like this as I'll be on my computer and We'll work it out and you'll hear what I'm saying and you'll see what I'm doing. It's, it's like we're in this class together. It's just that. And this is what you'll see if you're online, if you, if you do it from your house or wherever you are. If you want to watch the class and work interactively, you can do that. You'll hear me. You'll see what I'm writing. You won't see me, <laughs> lucky, but you'll see what I'm writing. All right. So go ahead and answer this question without calculators. Answer this problem real quick without without anybody get one. Ah, it's the answer is four. 
but one is the next best answer. It's wrong. You're using PEMDAS. In my class, in all my classes, I never use PEMDAS. And I, I, I cringe when I hear that. Because PEMDAS... is an acronym that says parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, in that order. But first off, what about the square roots? What about nth roots? What about absolute values? They're over four, and in this class, we have double integrals, we have linear integrals. All that stuff is not included in here. And multiplication division. Multiplication is no important, no more important than division. Same with addition and subtraction. Addition is not more important than subtraction. That's why I only profess the order of operations. The first thing you do are special operations. All these funny symbols. The next thing, after you get those, you do the multiplication division. And third, lastly, you do addition and subtraction. Mathematics is a language. How do you read this? From left to right. So are there any special operations in this whole thing? No, so we're done there. Are there any multiplication divisions? Yeah, left to right, you do this one first because they got there first. They're on the same level of importance. Six divided by three is two. No special operations. There's a... But I'm glad you said one because invariably, a lot of people resort back to PEMDAS subconsciously. Now you're not thinking about it because that's the way a lot of people were taught in here in America. The rest of the world uses something called bed mass, which is brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition. So only thing real different is brackets instead of parentheses and division. So they would have gotten this right. So with that, we're, we're going to do everything slowly, step by step. In my lecture form, when I lecture, I'll have the topic. We'll have whatever we need to talk about. And for my examples, I'll have the example. And then here, I'll put the steps required to solve it. And I'll go through step one, step two, step three, all the way down, and I'll work it out. That way, you can resort back to your notes to see how did we solve that in class. And all math problems are going to be solved that way. It's it's that reason. That's the reason your calculators can solve it. That's the reason your computers can solve it is because they're done step by step like this. Right. Go down here. The textbook is included into in your math lab. Here are the grades. The syllabus and our mind tests, everybody should make hundreds on those. How? What do you have to do? The syllabus. Yeah, that's all it takes. You have the next grade will be the average of all your homework assignments. Not the media, but only the homework assignments. I'll show you that when I'm talking about there in a second. So what I do when I download the grades at the end of the semester, I delete all the media and you're only left with the grades. So average, her, if you want to know what your grade is at that point, add up all the grades that you have. Anything you didn't do, put zeros in there. Divide by how many they are. That's your homework. Then add your the number of chapter exams that you have. And then the final exam is... Okay, I'm going to talk to you guys about this on the comprehensive final. I'll leave that up to you guys because I offer two ways to do the final exam. One, we can have a comprehensive final exam where it comes straight from the old tests. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to take questions from the old tests and just put them in there. Or we can have the comprehensive final exam instead of that, is that just average all your tests and that'll be your final exam grade. Pros and cons. The, the benefits of a comprehensive exam is it'll remind you what you know because your next class is Calculus 3. It progressively gets more difficult. So you have to know Calculus 2 to do Calculus 3. The, the detriment of it is it covers the whole semester. So you have a lot more stuff to try to memorize. The detriment of a the, of using the average of your test scores is it doesn't make you remember everything. So we'll talk about that in a couple of weeks to see how you want to do the final exam. We'll either have a comprehensive exam or we'll have a average of all your tests. But don't worry about it because on all your work is done online. Your homeworks, your quizzes, your tests, everything. The way I do it is you have an infinite number of chances to get the best score possible in your homework. Keep on taking it to make the highest score you think you can. If you made an 85, try it again. See if you make it higher. If you and keep on going till you think you make a hundred. Same goes with your tests. I'll give you three tries on your tests. I'll keep the best score. Each test, yeah. You have three tries on each test to get the best score. The same with the final, if we have a comprehensive final. You have three tries in the final exam as well. And you take them when you're good and ready. Not in class, not in the testing center. Take them when you're good and ready. I am doing this because I want to, first I want to take you guys' word for it. I'm going to have you sign a little honesty statement saying you're not going to cheat during the test or anything like that. And it's not going to do any good because if, if I'm not your professor next semester and somebody else has you, then everything you didn't memorize in my class, you'll have to re-memorize in that one. So you double your work. So I said, and most of you all want to be engineers, if not all of you. You better know your stuff. If you get a job as an engineer, computer engineer, industrial, uh, it doesn't matter what kind of engineer, and you can't answer basic from basic questions in mathematics or do basic processes, that'll be a very short-lived profession for you. This is where you learn. This, this is the point where you make your mistakes, not when you get a job. Case in point, the shuttlecraft challenger, the O-ring error, it had, the way they designed it, there was a flaw in it because they probably thought, oh, it's just a, it's just a simple ring. Everybody knows that formula. No, that was a mistake in the ca calculations and design for it. And you see what happened there. So again, do not cheat. Don't use the computer programs to answer your questions for you. Don't ask anybody to do it for you. Do it yourself. If you did, if you made a bad score, try it again. If you need more tries on the tests, I'll give you more tries. Just don't cheat. That's all I ask of you in this class is don't cheat. If all you want is an A, I'll give it to you. And just stop showing up to class and don't take me next semester. If you're going to cheat to get an A, I'll give it to you. Just get out of here. And don't ever use my name again. I'd rather have people make C's in my class and understand what they're doing than people make A's and not know anything. So I can't stress that enough. So in here in the syllabus, again, you'll see a bunch of deadlines. The last date for withdrawal is April 12th. Because after that, you can't drop anything. It'll be whatever grid you have. And you'll see here, you have these dates for each chapter exam. Chapter five, we're going to do a couple of sections in there. Chapter six, seven, eight. We don't have a chapter nine. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, there is no chapter nine. So it's not going to be 
six tests, there'll be five tests. So just for that. There is no core assignment in here because they usually give that to only algebra courses. So I'm supposed to put that in there, but we won't have any core assignment. And here's your syllabus, the calendar for it. This week, all we're going to do is talk about the syllabus, the course, and maybe do some review stuff. If not, that we'll do that next week. But the way it's going to turn out is each class will cover one topic. I don't want to overstress you. Each class, fortunately for us, works out, which gives us a lot of wiggle room at the end. In case one topic becomes too hard, we may make it two classes or whatever. It's just, I don't want to stress you guys too much. So everything fortunately works out to be one topic per day. And you have here these exams. Again, this is just to keep you on track. If you want to work on your own and you want to do this online, you're more than welcome. But this is just a guideline so you can finish up when we finish up. I only have one deadline, and that's 11.59 p.m. on May 9th, the last minute of the last day of the semester. Anything after that, any grades you don't do, automatically turn into zeros. Any homework, any test, any anything. So very, very, be very careful about that. So I, I want to make sure everybody understands that. So at midnight, it, everything goes to zeros you, don't, you haven't done. And you don't have a second chance at anything. So in other words, I'm also going to answer your questions for that week. If you ask me for extra time because you had difficulty during the semester, uh, if you were sick or anything, that's why I'm giving you 16 weeks to do it. I, I feel sorry for you if you were sick. We all get sick. We all live with it. That's life. I'm telling you right now, the answer is no. You cannot have more time to finish the material. Okay. Unless something, like if you're in a car accident and you're in a hospital for two or three weeks and you're on physical therapy and stuff like that, yeah, then we'll talk about it. But if any of your family members become sick and you have to go someplace for a funeral or a hospital, this class is portable. You have laptops. You have cell phones. You can watch this class anywhere you are. You can do the work anywhere you are. So I'm answering that question. No, you cannot have more time. It's all due then. Because I have a deadline to get the grades in. So that's that. Any questions so far? No, the tests you take on your own. It'll help you. The browser may be locked down, so you can't do anything else. You can't go to websites. You can't have artificial intelligence help you. Well, yeah, it's not. But proctored means if somebody's watching you. you know, they're going to be shut down browsers. But yeah, pretty calm browsers if you want to uh, proctored. But yeah, that's the way it's going to work out. Uh, again, I want to. I want to be able to say I trust you all. And say that I don't need to lock down the browser. The way it's going to work out also is if I see somebody making hundreds on all the homework assignments and all the tests, and if I ask them a question and they can't answer it, that's a red flag. I reserve the right at any time to say that the final exam is going to be in class, in person, since this is a face to face class. And we only have one shot at it. Everything else I'm giving you right now is a gift. But if any one student cheats and gets caught by not doing their work and just making hundreds and not knowing anything, that'll, that'll really, really, really frustrate me and ruin it for everybody. Unless that person drops out, then I'll go back to the other way. So don't cheat. I'm giving you, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt here. I'm letting you do it at your own time, own stress, stress environments. Because you do your homework at home, might as well do the test at home. It's it's a it's a different environment if you're in class. But I can always resort back to that. I, I want to give you guys the benefit of the doubt and help you guys as much as possible. All right. Now the next thing we're going to look at is the course itself. You know, with 
you've seen the syllabus already, you know where it's at. I'm going to upload in this course, I'm going to upload, I said, all of the previous, if I, if I don't upload it, I'll send it to your remind page, to your remind message, uh, all the videos and everything from your previous, from my previous classes, it'll be right here, course notes and videos. I'll put the entire last semester's stuff in there. The lecture notes, lecture videos, solution notes, solution videos. And I'll put those up there. The PowerPoint slides, those are the ones that the, the publisher put together. If you want to watch the look at those, you're more welcome to watch those. I won't use them. I lecture out of lecture. I don't read their notes. So when you log on here, You can either just see your homework assignments and your tests separately. I always go here to all assignments at one time. Come on. There. And what you'll see here is this. You have a review test for Calculus 1. You're expected to do that, and we'll go over that in class as well. And what do I usually do that is what I'll do is I'll have the question one. I'll pick somebody from the audience that come up here and do it for us. And I'll explain what's going on. And then they'll pick the next person. So I want to see what you guys remember from Calculus 1. Again, and it's, again, it's not really a test. You see, it's under, the, it's under a test, but it's not going to count as a test grade. You'll see these as say media. The media are just that. Those are all the videos that the textbook has on those topics. But in order to be able to put it in this page here, I had to make it into an assignment. What I'm gonna do at the end of the semester, even though it says a score, I will delete those. So even though if you get 100 on here, don't worry about it. It's not going to help you. I'm going to delete those. Anything that says media is are only there to help you during the semester. At the end, I delete those. The only thing I'm going to keep the grades on are the homework assignments and the exams. The homework exam. Oh, I don't have one here. Oh, there it is. Yeah. You'll see also these quizzes. Those are practice exams. These are not required. They're not mandatory for you to take. They're suggested to help take and help you because what you get on there is 10% or whatever your score is are going to be bonus points on your test. So if you made an 85 on your practice test, how many points is that bonus? 8.5. So in other words, if on the test you made an 85, you can add eight points, 8.5 points to it. Now you made a 93.5. So it helps you. And again, you those you see here, you have three tries at those. The exams, this is from last semester. Somebody wanted extra, extra attempts to try to make a better score. So I would give them six tries. If you want more tries, tell me. I'll increase it. I'd much rather you ask me for more tries and you do the work yourself, honestly, than you cheat and make a good score. Yes. The test grade. Yeah, yeah, the test grade. So, and, and then, so I'll keep the best test score and I add those bonus points to that. So you see all of those have practice exams and exams and the. Uh, okay, I haven't. I do have a final exam here and a practice final. The practice final exam for the final exam, if we go that route, is worth 20 percent. So if you make it 80 on the practice final exam, you get 16 points added to your final score. Your final exam is great. So again, and you have three tries for those.
Any questions? I'm trying to make this class as painless as possible because we have a lot of stuff to cover anyway. I'm going to try to take away the the stress and the anxiety of tests and homeworks and things like that. It, most of the world, you know what they call tests? In-class homework. A chapter test is nothing more than an in-class homework. It's the same type of problems. But you take it inside class with with no help. That's all home with. And so I want you to just take the stress off your taking your tests and just do it. Do the best you can. Let's see what else. Oh yeah, I'm another reason why I use Remind because if anything happens, and because I give a lot of sem uh, seminars and I give uh, presentations at conferences. If I'm going to be sent away to a conference or I'm delayed for whatever reason coming back, if I'm not going to be here, I'm going to send you a message. So you don't have to sit there and wait and wait and wait till they said put a post on the door saying class is canceled because the professor's not here. I so it's that way, if I will let you know as soon as I find out, I'm not going to be here or if I'm going to be late. All right. So that way you'll have a heads up. Because I hate seeing students waiting outside for a professor and them never showing up. That's not fair. So that's a very, that's another point I use remind. Questions, you guys have to have questions. Uh, so, you, so unit five, let's see, are we gonna go through unit like 5.1? No, because five one through five, 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 six, that's calculus one. You should have got at least that far. So that's why I, I backflow just a little bit in chapter five, just to get your brains working again, stuff you've seen before. What about the chapters after? So six through ten. And six through ten will cover in the four sections there. In chapter seven, three sections there. Chapter eight. You notice there's no chapter nine exam. So I have to I'll remove those from the homework assignments. So yeah, and here's chapter 10. Chapter 10 is the big one because that's going to be the transition for calculus three. Calculus three begins on chapter 11 and goes through 16. Yeah, I'll add the final exam. If, if we go that way, if we go that route, I'll add the final exam down here. Yes. Um, you said that the unit for syllabus station tomorrow, and we have to figure out about the confusion. So, can we send that on 2413 that we understand the syllabus? Yeah, you, you send it now because that the remind test and the syllabus test, you said it now. I mean, that, that, that should be taken care of the first 24 hours of class. But we're in 2413. But yes, well. Yeah. Send it again because. I'm going to go and tack those two. Oh, this person's in. I got to find out what's wrong, what's going on here. Because this person here clicked on the link that I just put up there, and the link was straight from Remind for this class. So something's going wrong. Yeah, so it'll be what I'm going to, uh, I'm hoping that it doesn't happen if I transfer everybody, it doesn't still send it to the old messages. Like, you, and then you sent me a message coming from 2413 then. <laughs> Yeah, see, this one here is a duplicate. Let me delete that one. What's that? That's my message right there. That's yours? The second one is mine. Let me see here of it. Uh, 
Okay, let's go to people. Nicholas, you're not even on here. Hey, there's so uh here I will transfer you to twenty four fourteen and I'll remove you from this one. And yeah, you guys should be added here, but now I get messages here. <laughs> You join 2414. This is getting me frustrated. It's, it never used to be so tough. Okay, I'll, I'll, that, that'll be my project for this semester, this this afternoon, this this weekend. Let's get this thing unscrewed up. You, you don't need. You have until the nineteenth. Nineteenth tomorrow, right? But our message is still going to two four one three. Well, no, no. As long as you send it to anything, I, I'll have it here. So send it to me, and where it goes to, I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna sort out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because. I'm going to reference everybody with my rosters because that's why I have to make sure everybody sent. So yeah, because now I know this, now I have to look at two classes at one time. So dang, I've never had this problem before. I have. All right then. Other than that, that's it for today. Because I need to get all this stuff fixed and make sure everybody's in the right classes. So next week we'll start doing the review. Well, I like to always start all my classes with a basic review of algebra, and then we'll do the the calculus review. We'll talk about that, and then we'll start chapter five next week. All right, everybody, have a great safe weekend, and I'll see. You.